Hi everybody. Um, I want to try something new today. I figured uh, over this past weekend I made a video about the Toy Story 4 news. I wanted to come out ahead about, you know, some questions that might have popped up in the Q&A. And it went really well and I had fun talking about it. And I figured there were a couple of more pieces of Disney news that popped up this week so far. And I figured maybe putting together a video talking about recent Disney news would be kind of cool. I don't think this will be a regular thing. Um, but, you know, whenever there is news worth talking about, um, I might just hop on and make a video. So, a couple of pieces today that I want to talk about. First and foremost is this new Disney animated film that's coming out from Lucasfilm. It was just announced today on Variety. The film is called Strange Magic. You might have heard of it because there was a rumor circulating a while back uh, when Disney... Um, bought the domain name for Strange Magic that this was the uh, sequel to Frozen, but it is in fact not the sequel to Frozen. It is an animated film that Lucasfilm was actually working on when Disney purchased Lucasfilm back in 2012. It's an animated film with a story by George Lucas, and the way it's described here is a madcap fairy tale musical inspired by A Midsummer Night's Dream, with popular songs from the past six decades used to help tell the tale of a colorful cast of goblins, elves, fairies, and imps, and their hilarious misadventures sparked by the battle over a powerful potion. Um, very, I think, very unusual for Lucasfilm, not the sort of thing you would think of. Um, I have mixed feelings about this. So first off, Disney announced that this is going to be released on January 23rd, 2015. So this is a project that Disney has decided they are going to go through with. They're going to finish it. They're going to put it out there. Um, however, they are putting it out through Touchtone Pictures rather than Disney Animation. Um, between the premise, the people behind it, and the decision to put it out there and how they're putting it out there, it raises a lot of topics of discussion. For one, it's going out there through Touchstone Picture, not Disney Animation. This could be as innocent as them deciding that this isn't really a Disney film since Lucas was working on it beforehand, so it should go through those channels. It could be as much as, for some reason or another, Disney wanting to distance themselves from the film, which is often what they'll do with the Touchstone films, is when they don't want it to be seen as a Disney film or it's not as seen as, as family-friendly, they'll put it through that. Um, I'm personally going to assume that it's the first reason before the second, that it's just because it's not a Disney animated feature that why would you put that out through Disney? Um, a lot of people probably think that it is going to be an uphill battle because George Lucas is involved with the story, and admittedly, his last few attempts at film, not only with the prequels, but with films like Red Tails, have not really been successful, both, uh, well, critically, they both, they've all been successful financially, um, so there's a concern of that, although the story is by George Lucas, however, it is written by Gary Rydstrom, who is directing it and who was directed Toy Story Tunes, Hawaiian Vacation. It was also uh, written with David Barenbaum, who you might know from Elf, and Irene Mecki, who worked on Brave and The Lion King. So you have some talented people behind it. Um, it's going to be an interesting, I mean, just... By that description, it sounds like it's going to be an interesting film. What's really interesting is this inclusion that it says, with popular songs from the past six decades. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people, when you think of George Lucas, you think of Star Wars. Rightly so. That's obviously the most popular thing he's ever worked on. However, before he made Star Wars, he made a very popular teen film called American Graffiti. It was a popular teen film at the time. Keep in mind, this was the 70s. Um, and what it was was a film that took place in the, I think it was the 50s um, or the 60s. I think it was even the early 60s. Uh, and if you haven't seen it, I highly suggest checking it out. It's really a great film. Uh, it stars a young Ron Howard before he became like the directing legend he is today. Uh, it even was, I believe, Harrison Ford's first acting role ever. Uh, and what's really great about it is its use of music. Um, Lucas himself described it almost as a music video as much as it is a movie because there's just so much use of music from that era woven into the film. And so when I saw George Lucas and then I saw this line about popular songs from the past six decades, it sort of instantly brought me to American Graffiti and got me a little excited to see what this film could be like. I mean, just that whole, you know, Shakespearean bit mixed in there is also going to make it interesting. So I'm sort of interested in seeing how this turns out, although I am not going to, you know, have my hopes hop up high based on, you know, what stories from George Lucas have been like in the past uh, recent years. 
So in other Disney news, we have release dates for Moana and Zootopia. Uh, we knew that they'd be coming out in around 2016, but now we have specific dates. Zootopia will be coming out on March 4th, 2016, and Moana will be coming out on November 23rd, 2016. And if you haven't heard of Zootopia, uh, it was unveiled last year at D23. It's this sort of comedy movie about this, like, sly-talking fox who's on the run because he's sort of framed for something that he wasn't guilty of. It's being directed by Brian Howard, who is the person who directed Tangled. So you know that there's some talent there. Um, And then Moana, we know, is the next princess film, and it is going to be based, I believe, on, like, the Polynesian area, the South Pacific Um, And that was recently pushed up. I think that was originally planned for 2018 and has been pushed forward to 2016. And, of course, there's a lot of discussion and maybe even a little worry about what it means to push it up that much. And then finally this week, uh, Disney showed off this new thing they're offering at the parks. Uh, It's part of the PhotoPass program, and it's called uh, the Magic Shots. And what they are are essentially like animated little clips that they use with your photos. It's part of the package that's, I believe, $200 uh, in the parks. Um, I want you guys to take a look at it. Let me know what you think of this thing. This is completely my opinion, but I actually kind of think it looks a little tacky. I love the idea behind it, and I think Disney definitely needs to be more uh, proactive about being innovative when it comes to these sort of photo packages. I think $200 or $150 for a photo package seems crazy to me in an era where you have cell phones that have like really good cameras and you could just get people to take photos for you. So I think you do need to offer something new and different that you're not going to get with your regular cell phone camera. I just don't know if this is it or if this is the right way of doing it. Um, but I think that's a whole other topic for a whole other video. I've, I've always had uh, thoughts on how they could sort of revamp how they deal with um, ride photos and character photos and stuff like that. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think of Strange Magic, this new Lucasfilm uh, animated feature coming out? What do you guys think of uh, Zootopia and the release date or Moana's release date? And more importantly, I would love to know what you guys think of this magic sh- shot stuff because I think it's... It's interesting, and it's cool that they're trying something new. I just think, based on the examples they threw out there, I don't know. Personally, I'm not sold on that yet. I don't know if I would throw $150 at that, but I do think it's great that they're thinking of something and putting something out there. Anyway, leave your questions below. Leave your comments below. If you want more Disney news, let me know. Maybe I'll do this more often, and have a great week. Whatever you're doing, make the most of it. Um, If you want these videos straight to your inbox, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.